Hello everyone, here comes another FFT Arena matchup here. And this time on top we have one of Silent Caster's newest teams known as Signs of Aging. And on bottom we have, um, just going to readjust the mic for a second. There we go. That way I can get a better clear view of what I'm looking at. Because uh, the mic was a bit out of position for me. Anyways, um, Signs of Aging on top and... Jamza's team known as the People Party on bottom. Silent Caster has Losing Your Hair, the Samurai. Raspy Voice, the Bard. Menopause, the Oracle. And Painful Cramps, the Oracle. <laughs> Looks like this team is full of arthritis. Um. <coughs> Alright. Um, let's start off with this Samurai here. He's an item bot Samurai with 8 speed. Has Masamune, so that way you can get the initial haste, and dis and um, it can proc dispel magic on contact. Um, well, he's got he's got a nice amount of status immunity. I'll give it that. I mean, the poison berserk, blind, don't act, sleeping frog also has re raise, move HP up an odd potion. So this guy can actually tank pretty well. Um. Just the only downside to him is he's not that very fast. He does have Masamune, though, so that's going to help out a bit. Um, but, you know, considering the way this team's kind of built, it might be better in the long run. Although, he could have been a little bit faster. like um, Or or it could have been, like, let's say, a chemist with uh, equipped Heavy Blade and Masamune. Eh, but then again, you would lose on the status immunity. So, I guess it's a bit of a... It, it's a, tra a trade-off. Would you trade with more speed and um an elemental absorbent or would you trade a little bit less speed but status immunity so schools of thought for both i feel um we have a bard here who is very damaging um with elemental magic attack up he has move mp up and the reason behind that is magic song um, so in case he's not doing any geomancy, he's doing magic song, and the reason behind that is, um, these two oracles right here. This one is a support unit with Cursed Ring, pretty interesting, as Pilgrimage Absorb MP, so she can land her status effects with, uh, the Grace to Effect, and we have a, an, another oracle, Undead, but this time more offensive root, this time, yeah, a bit more offensive based with, Two hand ivory rod, cursed rain, black rock costume to get rid of the um, fire weakness. The white robe at least gets rid of the fire weakness too. Um, the black costume only absorbs it though. And um, holy miter. So this one's only designed to do quickening so they can build speed, steel heart. At 15 MA, she has very high odds for nailing steel heart. <laughs> That's pretty scary, actually. If like a, if you have an oracle goes up against any male, sixty five percent plus uh, charm going off, yeah, holy shit, that could be a major major turnaround at any moment. Um, so what I basically see here is a pretty good bard. I guess magic range, so he, he can at least av avoid being holy sniped and be hit with wind, like with tornado or um, or futon. So I understand the reason behind that. Um, yeah, not much else to say here. Yeah, the samurai just sim simply keeps the bard in check, makes sure he stays up. And these two just basically, one inflict status, the other one can just damage, and can use steel heart. Now, for Jamza, he has unit the chemist, guy the thief, person the scholar, and girl the scholar. Um, as before, in 65 Holy's match, this is a dark absorbent team. And um, this chemist here only has item and no secondary. This one is designed to be a pure item bot. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, has a platina dagger to finish opponents off. Churchy for, uh, Churchy for, um, our protect. Flash hat for innocence, so that way status spells won't go off on him. And, uh-oh, I think I just realized something. Female Leo has best compat with male Aquarius. Expect like an 80 plus, 80-90% charm going off. Holy shit. <laughs> oh boy. If that oracle right here 
gets a chance to charm this Kamen. I want to see what the odds are. I really do. I'm really curious. Um, yeah, it's just something I noticed. Um, we have a undead thief here who has Seal Evil, and actually, Seal Evil is very good against undead units, because what can that do? Petrify. And this samurai, I believe, is the only one that can remove Petrify. Well, this oracle could too, with, with, with the Suna. But if both of them get Petrified, they have to rely then on the samurai to remove the Petrification. Um, this one also has, I think, Weapon Break? Let me double check, just to make sure. No, just seal evil. Ah. Too bad. If you were to switch them to some things around and had, give a weapon break, holy crap, these or these guys would be absolutely useless. Um, but he's good enough for petrifying uh, undead units, so that's fine. Um, we have a, two scholars here. One's undead, the other one's not. They both have items, so that way they can be right next to each other, heal each other's MP and status condition and whatnot. Um, they all absorb dark. This one's undead. The other one's not. Um, this thief here has 70 faith, which means high, um, chances of raise 2 versus high healing from the shadow shade. That's what these scholars are basically known for. They don't ha know any of the bio spells, which should, they should probably learn, learn some of the bio spells because, uh, shadow shade's only gonna heal 2 of um silent caster's units and the rest do get damaged this one can just auto potion it away that's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out i'm really curious to see how well both both seemingly absorbing teams can do well seemingly dark absorbing teams all right enough chatting on my part let's go to map 36 which is the church outside of town this one is a big bottleneck here. Um, as you'll notice around the building, the uh, the church, the, the bell tower, yeah, that is a that is a quite the choke point. So it's gonna be interesting how to see how both teams can navigate. They're gonna have to um, maneuver their way around the church if they want to um, have any chance to come in contact. So we have um, silent casters in the white and. Jamza is in the green. 82% don't act coming up on um, one of the thieves because he does have high faith. Can I flood those no don't move proc? Ooh, that missed, and the don't act actually did hit the bard. So good opening for uh, Jamza so far. And that bar is about to go down soon, actually. Oh, the Samurai does have High Potion. And unit... Well, go for an X Potion on the chemist, but it triggers an MA save. Oh boy, this one's about to go for a raise 200%. No doubt that Thief is going down. And Rhapsody Boy's about to run off. Raise 2 connects. And the Thief is so fast, though, that he'll get right back up in no time. 100 damage, 100, 100 damage Shadow Shade just took out that bard. Pretty nice. Paralyzed hits. Oh, but there's a bandage. As I was mentioning earlier, these scholars can sit right next to each other and heal each other up. Another Shadow Shade to, to take down the bard again. Another X Potion, another MA save. Oh god, I am kind of scared for this seat. Don't ask about to come up on, um... Let's see, Holy goes off. Oh, that Oracle does carry Holy. That's actually rather interesting. Paralyzed Mist! And, it's, and there's Absorb MP. And Magic Song goes off. Let's see. Unit will have to go for a Phoenix down. So that way that Skull can heal the Shadow Shade. Metapod will go for a Raise 2. A Painful Cramp. Oh! 255 damage ivory rod smack and charm hits uh-oh not good not good for silent caster here that charm oracle can destroy face when she's charmed magus only hits one of the oracle oh boy 
Wait, what were the odds of that? I missed that. That had to be like a 60-something%, like 70... Hold on. What was the Oracle's MA on that one? What was the Oracle's MA? I'm really curious now. Okay, she was at 18 MA, and this one is Libra. Okay, so that's neutral compact. 68% charm, okay. Okay, I, I missed what the odds were, so I apologize for that slight pause in the action. Uh, Rapsy Voice is gonna still do sing here. Oh, 255 damage, ouch. It just felt like a block because there was nothing really to take off. Holy goes off. That chemist with unyielding does not get auto potion, so I think next shot he's dead. See painful cramps goes for another um whack, and there's a hard hidden carve model from the bard. 129 damage actually. So I think that, yeah, Silent Castle just took round one. We'll see what happens in uh, round two. And here we go now for round two, as we are now on map 57. Underground book storage, first floor. Uh, last match. Silent Caster's team was actually able to accumulate just enough MA saves for the Oracle to just keep uh, Kale and the Scholars. And eventually the chemist was all that's left and you could not sandbag um, his team to the rest of the match. So we're going to find out if uh, Jamza can make a comeback here. Or is um, Silent Caster going to make it too? Now, oh, there's a... Nice combo right there from the from the Bard and the Oracle. Combine the Fire Weakness, Demon Fire, and then the Cure. Taking out the Thief here. So, Jumza is already down one unit here. And I'm not sure if this chemist can tank on his own. He can try, though. Oh, and there's a holy heal onto the bard. I guess... Oh, that's the other reason why that, um, that orc has a magic range. So you can... Um, receive a holy heal from the oracle. Nice. Not that that hasn't happened before, but you normally self holy healing backfires. But I guess not in this case. As long as a, a different unit has magic rain and oh, eighty percent charm. Eighty percent. Wow. Holy crap. That's how high the charms are. Charm arts were. Wow. I knew I was curious about it, but Jesus Christ. 80%. That is ridiculously high. I mean, I did record a match a long time ago with Celia's team when... Um, she went up against a team that had Magic Song and then Charm, but... And it had a hundred percent charm. That's because of the magic song. But Jesus Christ! Oh, steal accessory from the charm thief on the other charm chemist, so he has no longer auto protect. Is this gonna be a charm rape fest from from Silent Caster here? Down goes the charm thief. Charm did wear off, but 226 damage? That's only because of unyielding. And that's from, that's from the MA save Oracle, too. But my god, 80% charm. Even before MA save. My. Oh, man. Another holy heal from the Oracle. And it's a good thing that Bard did have Counter Flood too, because that means Counter Flood can't hurt the enemy. So 
So the chemist is already down. It is four on two, and um, mm. and and Salacaster's favor here. Jams is in some trouble here. Thief does get right back up though. Man, these shadow shades are keeping that thief up. Power song hits everyone. A uh, magic song, excuse me, hits everyone but the samurai, which is actually a good thing. Menopause can go for a hundred percent raise too. Guy, the thief needs to cancel that seal evil, and he does just that. So Jamza could be making a comeback here. Oh, soft though. Yep, that samurai was right there for the soft. Paralyzed miss only one of the scholars. And did that just kill the bard? Did Shaoxi just kill the bard? I'm not sure. Oh my god. So much damage from that oracle. So much damage. I believe the bard's KO'd from the Sh Shaoxade. Yeah, the chemist just crystallized and... Painful cramps will go for another Paralyze. He's only one of the Scholars this time. Yeah, I think that Bard's been KO'd. So it's three on two. Unless the Thief can get back up, but... One Seal Evil is not going to be enough. The Painful cramps go for... Polwack. Samurai can just heal himself with a high potion and he can just regen all that damage away, no problem. Oh, the thief with the three and one plus move eight move. It was able to snag that crystal. Raise two takes out the undead scholar. I don't know. That that thief desperately needs a charm if he wants to have any chance to make a comeback here. Uh, but attacking the samurai is not gonna do him much good at all. He should have went for the charm, and that was his downfall. So, Silent Caster takes this one. GG.